there's kind of a misunderstanding of omnichannel out there that it's only relevant for retail organizations or places that are trying to turn a profit. But really, I think Omnichannel can do two big things for government. For one, it can help them really establish trust and credibility with citizens by making use of existing channels where citizens are already spending their time. The government can help kind of insert themselves into people's daily lives, so sort of increase their the perception of their government as kind of a trusted daily source of information. Um, a second thing governments can, can benefit from in terms of omnichannel is more efficient service delivery. There's really a lot of opportunity to save time and to save money as a government um, at, all, at all scales by kind of aggregating data sets that governments have. Governments have a lot of data on how citizens use their services on everything from parking tickets to traffic patterns to wait times at different agencies to how many people apply for permits. Um, and quite often this information is siloed, but just as in a retail organization, as much as possible, if governments can remove the barriers between that data and begin to see their data as, as a large set, patterns begin to emerge that can really help target uh, service delivery in a more efficient manner. That's not necessarily, that alone is not omni-channel, but it's more an outcome, I'd say, of kind of omni-channel thinking. By reaching out to citizens where they are, by being on Twitter, for example, uh, just this morning, I wanted to double check that the alternate side parking rules here in New York City were, were in effect today before I moved my car. So I knew the easiest way to do that was to go to, New York City has a Twitter account just for the alternate side parking updates. So I can go there and very, very quickly see what the rule was for today. I didn't have to go to the you know, Department of Transportation's website and find the right place, find the right sub-agency within the department, and then find their calendar and then you know, parse their codes. They met me where I was. So immediately, a sense of trust has already been formed. But also now, they know that I'm following their Twitter account. So they're getting a small piece of data about me. I'm getting useful information from them. You sort of generate this kind of beneficial feedback loop. So I think at the same time that governments are improving citizens' lives by being there as a source of trusted information both day to day and also during crisis communications, I think New York City as well did a really good job leveraging social media and particularly during Hurricane Sandy. They were able to get the word out about subway status, about other sorts of other uh, forms of transportation, about safe areas of the city, about where the flooding was, what, what residents should do to stay safe. So by establishing themselves there day to day, people are more likely to listen during a time of crisis. And also the government gets that information about who's using their services and people have a channel to talk back to them. So the feedback loop kind of, kind of goes both ways and I think benefits everyone.